In this video, I'm going to explain how you, as a hormone doctor or a hormone nurse practitioner, can save time and frustration in your functional medicine practice. I can help you calm your patient's fears, reduce overwhelm for both your patients and your staff, as well as for yourself. I'm Steve Goldberg from SimpleHormones.com. I help patients and healthcare practitioners with easy to understand patient education resources. When I talk about hormone doctors, I'm specifically addressing providers who believe in hormone optimization. It's a concept that's a little different than hormone balancing. It's also different than the idea of giving the lowest possible dose of hormones for the shortest amount of time, which is uh, another a point of view that some providers will have. The hormone doctors and nurse practitioners that I work with are interested in helping their patients with symptoms for sure. They'd love to help men with low testosterone have greater muscle strength and stamina. They want to help women in menopause get rid of their hot flashes. They want to help women with PCOS get regular periods. They want men and women with low thyroid to have more energy, to be able to sleep better. Even more important though is the evidence that optimal hormone levels are one of the major keys to long-term health and wellness. The functional medicine practices I work with are committed to the idea that optimal hormones can eliminate all of your symptoms and protect against long-term health risks at the same time. As a hormone pharmacist, I provide easy to understand patient education resources to help hormone doctors and nurse practitioners. I do that through this YouTube channel where I provide mostly patients with free information about all sorts of hormone-related concerns. I also provide resources mostly for hormone doctors through my Simple Hormones subscription service. I've surveyed hormone doctors over the past several years and discovered these five areas that form the biggest challenges for hormone providers. First, patients are afraid of hormone replacement and they hesitate to say yes to getting their own hormones optimized. Patients don't recognize the risks of not optimizing their hormones. Third, it takes a lot of time to educate patients. The amount of information that you have to give to patients can be a bit overwhelming, both for the patients and for you as the provider. Fourth, clear, concise patient education material that lines up with your hormone optimization philosophy is a little hard to find, and it's even more difficult to build for yourself. Fifth, pushback from other healthcare providers who don't understand what you're doing puts hormone doctors and nurse practitioners at odds with your colleagues sometimes. So I'm gonna help you understand how my patient education resources can help you with all five of those patient education challenges, as well as one more that we'll talk about at the end of the video. Digital patient education resources like Simple Hormones can relieve your patient's fears. I've surveyed thousands of patients, especially women in menopause. One of the biggest challenges that comes up over and over again for those patients is that they're scared. Patients are afraid of side effects. They're afraid of the cost of getting hormones. They're afraid they won't ever feel like themselves again. Women in menopause, of course, are especially afraid of breast cancer. They're not so afraid of heart disease, which is something they probably should be afraid of. I spend a lot of time, for example, with women in menopause, helping them understand the impact of the Women's Health Initiative. I explain that the WHI was not the last word on hormones, and that there are lots of other more recent studies. Newer studies show that the right hormones, given the right way at the right time, reduce their risks. Yes, the right hormone levels can even reduce their risk for breast cancer. That's kind of the pink elephant in the room. I'm a firm believer that the right kind of patient education can help patients take a step back from that initial emotional response about hormones. Maybe what that woman has read on the internet or in a magazine about hormones isn't all there is to know. I've also learned, maybe the hard way, that patient education isn't about just a transfer of information. It's more about guiding patients on a journey of transformation. My goal is to help patients feel empowered to take control of their own health. I want to encourage patients to move from that place of fear to a place of confidence. One of the most important elements in my patient education resources is encouraging them to look for a guide. The guide that I'm talking about can help them move toward optimizing all their hormones. That guide can take them by the hand, so to speak, and walk them step by step to a place of freedom from those symptoms, as well as confidence that they're doing what's best for their long-term health. 
the guide I'm encouraging patients to trust is you as a hormone doctor or nurse practitioner. The other major factor in relieving patients' fears is empathy. I can't just blurt out all those thousand reasons why patients shouldn't be afraid. A person who has fear is acting out of a visceral kind of internal place. Their mind isn't really ready to receive a bunch of information that could help them approach things rationally, but they just aren't ready to experience that information. Before a person can receive that information that counters their misconceptions, they need to feel heard. That's where that empathy comes in. I've got to let them know that I care about your symptoms. I want to know about your concerns. I can understand why you're afraid and where that comes from. You're not alone in feeling this way. Your fear makes perfect sense to me, but I want to tell you a few things that might help you have a little bit less fear. Well, you know that menopause is more than just hot flashes. Insulin resistance is about more than just not being able to lose weight. Low testosterone goes way beyond fatigue and erectile dysfunction that men might complain about. PCOS doesn't only cause unwanted hair growth, weight gain, and missed periods. One of the struggles hormone doctors have with patient education is the lack of understanding about long-term health risks. My patient education resources emphasize the double-edged sword of hormone optimization. Getting all your hormone levels optimized eliminates your symptoms and reduces your health risks at the same time. Getting patients up to speed about optimal hormones involves changing their understanding. It requires them to absorb a large volume of information, and that can be a bit overwhelming to try and convey that large volume of information in an office visit, maybe even more than one office visit. Imagine a woman in menopause coming in for an initial consultation. She's nervous, maybe even a bit afraid of hormones because breast cancer, of course. You have to imagine it takes time to get to know that woman. It takes time to find out what her specific concerns or fears or complaints are. Then there's more time to explain all the reasons why hormone optimization is the best thing for her symptoms and her long-term risks. Well, several surveys have shown that most primary care doctors, for example, get maybe 15 to 20 minutes with each patient. That's not a lot of time to spend with a patient, especially a patient who's nervous about saying yes to getting her hormones optimized. It's possible that maybe you've developed your functional medicine practice to the point where you can spend 35 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour or longer with each patient. If so, that's great for you. What a great opportunity. But even in that case, do you really want to spend all that time relaying a whole lot of important information that may be hard for the patient to grasp in one sitting? Things like the Women's Health Initiative, uh, what to expect from optimal estradiol levels, how optimal progesterone levels will help, uh, what side effects to watch for, how high estradiol levels might affect you, how high progesterone levels might affect you, what about testosterone replacement for women? Well, patient education resources like my Simple Hormones program can decrease the quantity of time it takes to educate patients. They also can increase the quality of time that you get to spend with your patients. Simple Hormones are digital courses that are all about patients going through on their own time, not yours. That means you'll be able to spend a lot more of your office visit connecting with your patient on a personal, a deeper level, getting down to their most personal pressing concerns. Both of you will be freed up to get past just information transfer and move toward that transformation of relationship and trust. One of my subscribers, physician's assistant Charlie Whispered in Augusta, Georgia, says that Simple Hormones saves him one full hour with each new patient. Just imagine what you could do with one extra hour for each new patient. How many times have you or your staff heard the same question repeated over and over again with each new patient? Each patient asks the same questions because they all have basically the same general concerns. Maybe you could get down to business with their specific concerns more easily. Simple Hormones is a patient education resource that patients can watch on their own time. It addresses many of those most commonly repeated questions that you hear over and over again every time you get a new patient. What if patients could rewind and watch that answer again? How much time would that save you? 
The next patient education challenge functional medicine doctors and nurse practitioners face is finding clear, concise materials to help you in teaching your patients. Well, you could develop some of your own video teaching materials. Some providers do that, and that's great. More power to you. There's always more opportunities for more of us to teach patients. But let's face it, most of you as hormone optimization practitioners just don't have the time to build a hormone curriculum. You may not know where to start. Hormone doctors may not feel comfortable on camera. How would you know how to go about creating videos, editing videos, finding out how to present them, where to load them on a website? It'd be understandable if you struggled with all the technology that'd be required. Believe me, I know how difficult it is to figure out all that technology because I've done it myself. Creating your own videos is a great idea, but for most hormone doctors, it's just not worth all the time and effort and learning curve it'd take to get there. Simple Hormones offers you a ready-to-use medical practice resource. No video editing required. You can just subscribe to my patient education programs and send patients through your patient education portal within a few days. So the fifth and maybe the biggest challenge hormone doctors and nurse practitioners face with patient education is pushback from primary care physicians. If you're a hormone optimization provider, you've probably done a deep dive into the evidence. You've bought the idea that the right hormone levels are one of the major keys to health and wellness. Unfortunately, not every provider understands where you're coming from. There are still a lot of primary care providers who believe that hormones will give your mutual patient breast cancer or a heart attack. Colleagues believe testosterone will cause blood clots or prostate cancer for your male patients. Some other physicians might take you to task for insisting that patients get both T3 and T4 for their thyroid levels that are less than optimal. They may even freak out about a patient's somewhat low TSH levels. Patient education resources like Simple Hormones can't eliminate that pushback from other well-meaning providers. What these patient education videos can do, though, is help patients truly get what you're trying to do. If patients have a better understanding of hormone optimization, it may be that they'll be less likely to tattle on you to their other doctor. One of the objectives that I have in creating my patient education resources is building patient trust. I'm hoping that patients begin developing a better understanding of the benefits of optimal hormones. I'd love to see more patients experience the life-changing power of hormone optimization. It'd make me feel pretty satisfied to see more patients experience freedom from symptoms, as well as lower health risks for the long term. The underlying theme of everything I teach, whether it's in my YouTube videos like this one, or in my subscription patient education resources, is to trust your hormone optimization specialist. Because I'm encouraging patients to trust you as an integrative or functional medicine specialist, I'm also able to help you get referrals. My YouTube channel has been pretty consistently driving traffic from YouTube to my website, where I have a referral system set up for hormone optimization providers. Over the past several weeks, I've gotten over maybe 120 patient requests. I'm happy to say that I've made a bunch of referrals to a lot of my Simple Hormones program subscribers all over the US and even some in other countries, especially in Canada. I tell patients that I can't guarantee that I know an integrative medicine specialist or a hormone doctor in their town, but I will give it my best shot. Side note, over the past 10 years, I've met a lot of you, especially at medical conferences. I've developed some great relationships and even some friendships with physicians, PAs, nurse practitioners. We're all passionate about helping patients experience that life-changing power of hormone optimization. Well, I'd really love to see if I can't help you get more patients to your hormone practice, your functional medicine practice. If you're interested in my subscription patient education resources, click the link that says learn more on this page. I'll tell you all the details about how you might be able to save time and frustration in patient education with these targeted, unique patient education tools. If you're not quite ready for a subscription, that's okay too. I still would love to get you on my provider database. That'll make it a lot easier for me to get your information to patients who need your help. Click the link on this page that says join provider database. If this video has been helpful at all, click the like and subscribe buttons and the notify bell so that you'll find out anytime I release a new one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.